Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Angie. Today we're here with our 2018 Can-Am Spider RT Limited. We're going to show you how it won't start and we're going to walk you through some easy steps in replacing your battery. Hope this helps you. Have you ever had this happen when trying to start your Can-Am Spider? Come over here and press mode, then over to start and nothing happens. The lights are flickering, as you can see. You can hear it trying to kick on, but it won't turn on. First, you wanna hit the center home button. Then you're gonna scroll through the launch menu to settings and down to fault codes. Have you ever had any of these fault codes come up on your Can-Am Spider? Today we're going to show you some easy steps on how you can change your battery on a Can-Am Spider RT Limited. Changing your battery is an easy process using the tools provided in the back of your trunk. To open your trunk you want to push the key in, push down, and turn to the left, at which you should hear a pop of your front trunk. Now you will see that the front trunk is unlocked and just gently open it to reveal the front trunk area where you will just unzip both sides all the way around down to the bottom. The toolkit provided, we're using this of the three tools. It's easily inserted into the end. You're going to use this tool to unscrew the top two screws. Once you've unscrewed the top two screws covering the battery, it's very easy to remove the plastic cover, revealing your battery below. Next, we're going to undo the front rubber strap that's holding the battery in place. It easily detaches from the metal clamp. Next, we're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal. In this case, it's shown in the, on the left with the black wire and the negative battery symbol. Pro tip, place the screw back in the negative battery terminal to prevent the hardware from falling out when removing the battery. Next, we're gonna disconnect the positive battery cable, in our case located on the right side, red color and positive battery symbol. Again, as before, we're going to replace the screw back in the hardware so it doesn't fall out when removing the battery. Next, you can lift up on the black clamp holding the battery. Usually, you will be able to pull this off the battery by gently pulling it forward. Next, you want to gently pull the battery forward and it should easily remove without too much of a struggle. This is our original battery we removed from our 2018 Can-Am Spider. The year is now 2024, so this battery has lasted approximately six years, which is pretty good battery life for a Can-Am. Here are some of the markings on the battery, a UASA battery, if you are interested in looking up which battery brand to replace for your Can-Am. We decided to stick with the same UASA brand battery, which luckily we found locally at a dealership near us in the Southwest Ohio area. Clinton County Motorsports had this in stock for us. It costed $135, which is a good price for this battery. Some of them range up to $200. Here are some of the markings on the battery if you're interested in looking up the same battery or a similar battery for your can -Am. Included with the battery inside is also new hardware, which we recommend you using when replacing your new battery. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the UASA battery. New battery is on the left and the old battery is on the right. Another pro tip we recommend is first placing the hardware in the battery and gently putting the screw in so that the hardware does not fall out when placing your battery into the can amp. We recommend you hooking in the black bracket first. 
because it is a difficult step and it's hard to get to if your battery is in place. Next, we're gonna do all the steps, but in reverse, to include putting the battery in place and placing the bracket back over top of the battery where it should clip down in place. Once the battery is in place and the bracket is on top, you can gently move the bracket to check and see if it's secure. Next, you wanna place the rubber strap on top of the bracket to hold it in place. Everything should be snug and secure and not loose or move around. Now we're gonna connect the positive cables to the positive terminal side using the new hardware provided with the battery. Next, we're gonna place the negative cables on the negative battery terminal using the new hardware provided. Once battery cables are secure and tightened onto battery terminal, now would be a good time to double check and make sure your Can-Am starts before replacing the plastic battery cover. Now here's the real test to see if it starts. First we're going to place the key in the ignition and turn to the on position. Next we're going to come over and hit the mode button and then press start. And as you see everything comes on normal on the first try. Now that we've replaced the battery, we're going to hit the home center joystick, come over, scroll down to settings, scroll down to fault codes, and as you see, no fault codes active, which means mission accomplished. Now that we know the Can-Am starts and everything is working properly, we're going to place the battery cover back in front of the battery using the two screws that were provided. This should secure the battery cover in place. Now that we've replaced the battery and the battery cover is safely secure, we can now zip up the lining on both sides, close the front trunk, and safe riding. Again, I'm Ryan. And I'm Angie. And we hope that you enjoyed our video on how to replace a battery in a 2018 Can-Am Spider RT Limited. We did a lot of research trying to find out what our problem was. And we just thought we'd make a quick video to show you how we fixed our problem and get back on the road. We hope you enjoyed our video. And if so, please feel free to like, subscribe, or comment below. Let us know in the comments what helped you through the video or if there's any future videos you would like us to make on Can-Ams or any new updates, fault codes, etc. Happy and safe riding. Three down. As you see, once you unscrew the top two screws, it's very simple to remove this cover, revealing the battery below.